Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. So for today's tutorial, we are going to be using the following tools. I've got my pattern master. I've got my pattern paper. My pattern paper. I've got my paper scissors, pencil. I've got my tracing wheel, my measuring tape, my cello tape and i've got my fabric so today we're going to be using fabric and make sure you get the fabric that is wide enough for your pattern so first of all we're going to draw a vertical line very close to the edge of our pattern paper so once that is drawn in we need to get our front bodies and this is the shoulder dart bodies so if you've not seen our previous video where we drafted these bodies i am going to leave a link on the screen where you can watch it but if you have yours ready you can go ahead to trace off this block Always remember while tracing, make sure you don't leave out all the notches and all the dot lines. Make sure all the informations are well traced out. Now that our front bodies is traced out, the next step will be to locate the neck dot position. So when it comes to positioning, you don't have to follow any rules. As long as you have your dart line located at the neck area, you are good to go. So for my neck dart line, I will be using dotted lines. And this is what I normally do when introducing new dart lines to my patterns. So once that is drawn in, the next step will be to close the shoulder dart and the waist dart. And to achieve that, we need to slash open the waist dart then rotate our paper to the shoulder dart and we're going to repeat that same step on the shoulder dart and remember when slashing open your dart lines you don't need to cut all the way through so the next step will be to slash open the neck dart line now that all our dart lines are slashed open we need to proceed to close in the waist dot and the shoulder dot so at this point we need to be very careful because our paper is a bit fragile so we need to get our cellar tape to close in our waist dot and our shoulder dot so while closing the waist dot i have noticed a little bump on the waistline so what i need to do is to even out that line by using my pattern master And like we did before, I will gently close the shoulder dot, like so, using my cello tape to secure the closure, making sure it's well in place. Once we have all our dot closed, we need to trace off this pattern. On a fresh sheet of paper like we normally do we need to draw a vertical line on that fresh sheet of paper place that paper on the same line as the pattern like so make sure it's well aligned smoothing out the paper here is a closer look on our pattern paper we can see through those lines and what we need to do is to trace out all the lines that we can see. So basically we're tracing out this pattern on a new pattern paper. So like we normally do, we're going to use our tracing wheel to trace off this new pattern. So once we are done tracing our new pattern, 
what we need to do next is to get our pencil to follow those traced lines. But in this case, I'm using my permanent marker just for the sake of this video. Normally, I use my pencil. So once we are done tracing, we need to go ahead to add our seam allowance. But before we do that, we need to make sure we label our pattern. And because this is the front bodies, we need to label it as place on fold. And then we will go ahead to add our seam allowance. I am adding one centimeter as my seam allowance. So you can go ahead to add whatever measurement you need for your seam allowance. So once we are done adding our seam allowance, we need to get our paper scissors to cut out our new pattern. Now our pattern is ready, we need to go ahead to place it on our fabric. And the fabric I'm using today is called a calico. And a calico is what we normally call it here in the United Kingdom. I know in the United States and some part of the world, you call it muslin. So if you've got your fabric, place your pattern on that fabric and be sure to place it on fold. And again, using my straight or sewing pins, I am going to use that to secure my pattern on my fabric, making sure it doesn't slip away. So at this point, I'm gently using my straight or sewing pin to secure my pattern. So once my pattern is all pinned in, I am going to get my fabric scissors to cut out my new pattern. And like we've said in our previous videos, make sure you use different scissors for different functions. So we are using our fabric scissors because we are cutting into our fabric as opposed to our paper scissors. So now we are finally done with our neck dart bodies. All we need to do is to sew it all up. And this is the final look. So thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below and I'll see you on our next video. Bye for now.